In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take your Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube and record it, folks. I know I don't mean taking out your phone and recording it with your camera or anything like that. I'm gonna show you how to screen record your Fire Stick. And best of all, it's complete navy and you don't need no extra equipment folks there are some caveats though so stay soon okay so the caveats is if you want to record, say, a movie or a TV show on your Fire Stick. This recorder can't do it because the playback is going to be sobbing, sobby. And the reason being because the Fire Stick or Fire TV cube is not powerful enough to be an actual um, DVR, folks. So... You can't record your movies and TV shows with smooth playback directly on your Fire TV cube or stick without using some sort of DVR HDMI recorder, folks. It's all really good, by the way. But for tutorials, for sewing people on how to use the fire stick this can be very good folks okay guys so how do you get an app that can screen record your fire stick or you it's actually very simple all you need to do from your fire stick home screen is to go to the mac and find that's down to search middle button and type in screen recorder and right down there you'll see screen recorder so highlight it middle button and then it's this one here in the black background saying screen recorder middle button again and middle button again to download it and like I say, it's a free app. Right, so we're gonna open this. And then we're gonna select our resolution. I would advise to go for 720p. I think that's the best bet. And another thing to bear in mind is lower the quantity. Um, let's move in the playback folks so if you want to record your movies or tv shows i would advise you go for 480 or 360p folks but then again i'm not sure if you can record sound or not um my button is it probably won't record the sound but you can give it this by on a um, sentence folks but i'm gonna go for 720 and then all you need to do once you've selected the resolution is to go down and click on start recorder middle button and make sure it announce highlighted middle button and the middle button again for don't so again and then start now middle button right so screen recorder is running as you saw down the bottom so i can now record my video so what i'm doing right now is being recorded folks so let's say if i were to go to I don't know, let's say I was showing someone how to get free stuff. I come here, I come here, 
a skull down there's the three stuff and if the one say three TV shows three to me I can just show them that and once I'm done I can press the home button go back into screen recorder and then you see where the site stop recorder click on that and that will stop the recording so how do we find that recording well we need some kind of file monitor folks and the best one is es file monitor so let's go to find then search and down here we're gonna search for es once you see it, click it. Yes, fireworks. No, uh, middle button on download. And then once it's installed, we're gonna open it up. Click on a cray. And now a cray and continue. And they will come up with three wild and the premium. You don't have to pay for it. So we're gonna go up to the excess right there. Middle button. And now, now put you on the premium, basically. Okay, so how do we find our recording? So right here, folks. If we scroll down, you'll see a section called movies. Just there. Click it. And then here's our recording folks and I can play it from here using VLC or any other media player on my device and this is now the recorded video so as you can see it's actually recorded pretty decent folks as you can see, it's not the best in the world, but for, say, a tutorial, this can be very good. Right, so that's the MP4 file. Now, how do we get this MP4 file onto our computer? Um, that's actually very simple, guys. All you need to do is to scroll down to where it says on the left hand menu network once you see network highlighted middle button and then scroll down to a button called view on pc just there once you see it middle button and then click on turn on just there middle button again and it will give you an IP address so it will have FTTP forward slash forward slash 192 and it will be something else on yours because yours most likely won't be the same as mine so write the number down um, or memorize it if you got a good memory and what we're gonna do is go on our computer gonna open up fireworks nowhere we're gonna click on this pc make sure that sign it is um, and click in the bar so it's there donate whatever's in there and put in ftp hold on hold on Forward slash, forward slash, the IP address. And then colon 3721, folks. So, very important. Once you type that in, click on there, and they will show you basically your Fire Stick or Cube. And that's in C. Here's the MP4. So all you're gonna do is highlight it, click it, 
white knickers and then go to copy just there once you've clicked on copy go to the destination where you want to copy it so let's say i want to copy this in music folder and then i'm gonna click on paste so why do you this icon for paste and now we'll just paste it in and there we go folks so now back on our fire stick if we finish once phone we're gonna click turn off on this and then we're good to go folks so there's the mp4 file on my computer i can click it and then as you see here's the mp4 of my fire stick playing on my computer folks and that's insane that's relative these move okay guys so i hope this video has helped you out if it did give me a thumbs up on youtube as well as subscribe to my channel very important and as always have a great day and i'll see you in the next video